Happy Friday, everybody. Look, it's, it's kind of weird because um, the ring light is reflecting in my glasses, unfortunately. But, oh well, I can't help it. Um, I'm not about to stick my eyes in my, my finger in my eyes to put on contacts to be able to wear contacts because I don't feel like cleaning my hands in the boiling water, all that kind of stuff. So here I am with my glasses on and I'm still cute. Just ignore the ring light that's reflecting in my glasses. But how are you doing? I know this has been a challenging week. Let me cut down my music. It's been a challenging week for a lot of us, and I'm just thanking God that if you are watching this, you are extremely blessed because that means that you made it through. I know that none of us expected what was to happen, but if you were anything like me, you just still thank God when you woke up every single day because you had life. Um, adversities make us stronger. They prepare us for um, life's experiences. Okay, our dog is trying to talk, y'all. I don't know why he wants to have the attention today. But anyway, thank God you're okay. Thank God you're safe. I hope that your family is safe. I hope that you are warm. Um, I pray that if you are without water, if you are without power, if you are without food, that you get what you need as soon as possible. And if you are without any of those things, please DM me. So, I want to go ahead and... <laughs> I know you really like them. I know, I know. So let's go ahead and jump into. Oh, first of all, let me introduce myself in case you don't know me because I do have new friends. Remember, I told y'all I'm welcoming new people that I don't know into my circle and realm of Facebook. And that is so different for me. For years of having a private page, I now have a public page. So I have some new followers, so I want to introduce myself for you all that don't know me. Um, I'm Taysha Williams. I'm a hair expert of over 20 years. I specialize in healthy hair, natural hair, chemical-free hair. Um, I love what I do. I love to educate. I've done a lot of research. I have a lot of experience. And so there are a lot of simplistic things that I feel like I can help people with, with just answering questions about their hair care. And so... I decided to start doing these hair talks so that people can learn and gain knowledge and have healthier hair and enjoy their hair journey. So with that being said, today's topic is how can you keep your edges healthy? So many women have broken edges and thin edges and bald edges and damaged edges and they battle with it, don't understand why it happens what's going on with your hair and let me start by saying this the hairline of your entire head or region of hair the hairline is the most sensitive most fragile most thinnest part of your hair so you have to take extra good care of it meaning if you're going to use heat i know as a stylist when i use heat around the edges of any of my clients the heat has to be lower than the rest of the hair because I'm dealing with hair that is finer and weaker than the rest of the hair. So if you are flat ironing your hair at home at all, whether you are relaxed or natural, make sure that you that the heat is not too high. Now I can't really tell you exactly what heat to use for your texture because that's definitely what it determines what the what uh, temperature straightens your hair without damage. But be sure to use a heat protectant, whether you have relaxed hair or natural hair, to protect the hair around your edges, especially. Um, tension, so that's heat, number one. Too much heat, too much high heat. Tension of the hair. A lot of people like to pull their hair really, really tight in protective styles, braids, um, ponytails, Whatever you do in styling hair, I've had clients that have damaged their hair follicle and caused uh, traction alopecia, which is when the hair falls out and no longer can grow back because the, the follicles are damaged permanently. Just from pulling their hair too tight as a little girl, um, it never came back. I mean, back here on the sides. So even as mothers, when you're combing your daughter's hair, Cadence will tell me in a minute. 
Mama, that's too tight. And I appreciate that because if you feel any type of tightness, that means it's too tight, especially at a young age. Um, so tension, make sure that when you're getting your braids done, that you tell the braid stylist not to do it too tight, especially around your edges. If your hair is pulling, you can see it being pulled from the scalp and it's just too tight. I don't care about, you can be neat and still not be too tight to where you're losing or damaging follicles regarding your hairline. So not only could you lose your hairline from that, but you can also have a lot of breakage around your hairline from tension, from styles. Um, what else? A lot of times, pregnant women, after they have their babies, they may lose their edges. I'll never forget, Lord. After I had cadence, I must have lost my mind and forgot the knowledge that I have regarding hair because I was went on a vacation. She was three months old. And I went and got braids, thinking, oh, I'm getting the braids to my head. It's not going to have too much tension. It's not going to pull because the weight is not going to hang, make the braids heavy. Got it to my head, realized on the trip, I just see white little bulbs just sticking out, which means it's being pulled out from the follicle. I was so upset. And I was like, oh, my gosh, my hairline is not going to come back. It was all jagged. But eventually it came back, but that was from tension and especially after having a baby. Be careful of these things regarding your hair care and your edges. Um, another thing that takes out edges, chemicals. I remember doing relaxers and, and seeing other people do relaxers. And then if you're at home doing your own relaxers, which I totally don't agree with, but if you are, um, this is for you. When applying a relaxer or any type of chemical to your hair being that the edges and the whole hairline is so much more sensitive and weaker it processes a lot faster which means it doesn't need as much time as the rest of your hair does to straighten or to color and so you apply the relaxer or the chemical to that part of your hair last because it only needs a couple of minutes and so I would see other stylists apply relaxers or I would ask clients that came in that did relaxers at home, when did, you reply, when did you apply the chemical to your edges? Oh, I did it first. That is a no-no. You never apply chemicals to your edges first. You don't want edges if that's what you're going to do. So when it comes to chemical processing, make sure that is the last thing that you put it on because it's going to get straight quickly or it's going to color quickly. Another thing, product buildup. I know everybody's going crazy over their edges, basically making damaged edges be, uh, what you call it, um, cadence, what you, cadence, what you call this, uh, styling baby hair? Yeah, so they're styling it as baby hair, but it's really damaged and broke off. I mean, some people just have a natural, um, the hair is just natural, like, naturally lays down and it is shorter. So it's not for ev not everybody's edges are broken off and damaged, but putting that edge control daily and doing whatever you do and manipulating that causes breakage, especially you don't know what's in it, especially if it's a gel that's too hard. Excuse my dog for barking. If it's a gel that's too hard, if it's a edge control that's just not movable and every morning you get up and you're doing your edges and all of that, it can cause breakage. It can cause breakage. So uh, what else can I think of? Oh, I have this right here, bonnet. So as healthy as this is for you to sleep in a bonnet, this is the inside of my bonnet, so you all can see the satin. So when you put on a bonnet, A lot of people put their bonnets on and they put either the elastic that's in here or the border the around the bonnet they put it directly on their edges that is a no-no don't put anything directly on your edges it's supposed to go outside of your edges so that it can protect your whole region of hair because when you put it on top of your edges and you're asleep at night, when you're asleep at night, your bond is doing this. 
it's moving around, it's shifting as you toss and turn on your pillow. And so when you do that, it causes friction back and forth, back and forth. And remember being the most fragile part of your hair, that causes breakage. So if you're going to wear a bonnet or any type of protection, even a wrap cap, make sure the wrap cap doesn't just lay directly on your edges. I think I even made that, that, um, that error when using my wrap cap when I was relaxed, when I did wraps all the time. Because after I went natural, my edges seemed like they were a lot fuller. But I feel like with my wrap cap, I would put it on and then I would push it back if I'm washing my face. Or I would push it back, just period. Never really just brought it down um, in front of the wrap cap. And that's when I kind of noticed, hey, I'm, I'm damaging my own edges. So be careful when you are using tools and stuff like that to protect your hair that you don't let them lay directly on your hairline. Um, what else is something else that you can use? So to build it up, use strengthening shampoos. Um, make sure you're just delicate. Just treat it with tender love and care. They're, they're edges. And they're very, very nice and very, very delicate. So just treat them nicely and they'll be nice to you. Now, when I have clients that come in and they're like wigs and all that kind of stuff because people have put glue on their edges um, have broken out their hair. What I do to grow back edges, and a lot of people may think, oh my gosh, I never thought to do that. I get it to grow back, and I do that because I trim it. Trimming is everything. I know a lot of people run from trimming because they feel like, how can your hair grow if you're cutting it or if you're trimming it? But our bodies are like plants. Have you ever cut something off of a plant and it grows right back? It's just the way God created our being in nature when something is dead and needs to be cut off it'll grow back even healthier so i would grab they would be like oh my gosh nobody's ever done this so i would take their hair i don't care how broken off it is i would get it all the way around the hairline and i would just trim on it trim on it trim on it and then all of a sudden you see this hair this whole same length of hair around the hairline begin to grow in now, of course, it has to catch up with the, the rest of the hair, but it starts to grow in all because of the fact that I actually trimmed it. Most stylists do not trim edges, and they don't do it because they say, oh, well, that needs to grow. I'll just leave that alone. But that's not what you do. Anything that you want to grow, if you trim it, it will grow. It's like the hair under your arms or the hair on your legs, the hair that you complain about that grows so much, why do you think it grows so much? Because you cut it often. So it's the same thing on your head. So that's pretty much all I have. Uh, I said I wasn't going to cancel on y'all today because I'm here. And I want to give you, I was like, what can I tell them this week? So I'm so glad I got to be able to tell you all about how to keep your edges intact. Because that seems to be the struggle of, especially an African-American woman. It's always... Oh, I got to lay my edges. I don't know what the infatuation is about that because even when I had my big hair, I never, I still have not used edge control being natural. I've been natural going on six years and I've never used edge control. Like, let it be. I don't understand the slickness and the importance of maybe it's the polished look that you desire, but it still can look good without edge control. I promise it can. So when you let go of those things and actually let your hair grow and be free and breathe from not having piles of edge control on it all the time or, you know, a wig on it all the time, then it will be healthy and it will grow. Any questions? Anybody out here? I know people are still without and struggling, and the last thing they want to do is be watching me talk about hair. But I, I did it anyway because I said I'll be committed to doing this for you all on Fridays, and I know that... Whenever you get the opportunity, you may watch it and it just may help someone. So I came on anyway because you just never know who's online. But um, does anybody have any questions for me at all? I look so funny with my glasses on. That's so funny. Anybody have any questions? Anybody, anybody, anybody? So, oh. Cadence, go get me a product. Give me, um...
what do you put on your edges to make them grow? Uh, massage them with raindrops. I think you have some, Miss Williams. Just put a little raindrops. Why is that dog barking? And massage. Massage them, and like I said, if they're broken or struggling, if they're, like, broken, carrot oil or olive oil on edges, mm-mm. Not, not on dry hair. I'm sorry, y'all, my, about my dog barking. Uh, Trey, can you tell Trey to undo the alarm and let him go outside? Um, I don't know about carrot oil. I'm not sure of the consistency of it. I have heard of it. Olive oil is really heavy. So if you're going to use olive oil, then hey, hey, Harmon. If you're going to use olive oil, I would suggest that you massage it in what would you be using it for? Oh, they're frizzy because they're dry. Your edges are dry. They are. So you can use that as a hot oil treatment. Don't ever put it on without some type of water. Um, I would suggest you do that before you shampoo your hair. If you're going to do the olive oil or even if you want to do castor oil too, do that before you shampoo. Massage it in. But if they're frizzy and they, they're broken off, definitely to get them to grow in. You can do a little trimming, but your edges may need, you may need a hydration treatment totally and overall because anytime you mention frizz, that lets me know that the hair is dehydrated and it needs some type of hydration. And if it's dehydrated, it may cause some type of breakage. Yeah. Did that help you, Michelle? And did that help you, Miss Williams, Mrs. Williams? Wispy. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can massage on them, and you can use that, but just make sure it's not too heavy. I'm unsure what your hair texture is, but sometimes when you put oils that are too heavy um, on the hair in its dry state, it just will coat it and make it even more dry because it won't penetrate the hair strand. It helps? Okay. So just make sure the hair is wet if you're wanting to lock in, um, lock in moisture. Make sure the hair is wet before you apply any type of olive oil or something like that. Thank y'all for asking questions. That makes me feel like I'm contributing to something. <laughs> what do you use for a hydration treatment? So what I love for a hydration treatment is, I'll be right back. Let me get it. Okay, I'm back. So, I love this. And I, I'm bringing this to you all just because this is something you can pick up at Whole Foods or you can pick this up at Sprouts. Uh, I've seen it from time to time in the healthy part of the store of HEB. I like this as a hydration treatment. If you want to do the steam with it, you can. I just do under the dryer with the cap because that's what I can do at home. And that's typically what I do at the salon as well. But I'll do either this. I cocktail a lot of things, but this is really good for hydration. Really, really, really good. And has good ingredients, of course. And then Innersense Organic Beauty has a hydrating mask that they have. And that's really good, too. Its consistency is a lot heavier. That may be good for you, Michelle, for a coarse and thick uh, hair to do the inner sense hydration, but this is good too for all textures, but I know that consistency is a lot thicker, but this is what you can use for a hydration treatment. This is what I use whenever I wanna um, have some extra hydration. You cut off the alarm? Okay, thank you, son. Any other questions? Okay. Did you get it? And now I ain't even said the name of it. That's too silly. It's called Alba Botanica. It's the Mega Moisture Conditioner Coconut Milk. Yes, that's why I was like, I ain't even tell you. I'm going to type it in. It's the Alba Alba Botanica. 
Mega Moisture Conditioner. Conditioner. Coconut milk. Okay. There you go, Mrs. Williams. So like I said, you can pick that up at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and sometimes they have it at H-E-B in the healthy section. Any other questions that y'all have for me? It's our anniversary. Well, if y'all don't have any more, you're welcome. You are so welcome. You're saying not to put anything on my dry hair on a daily basis. Well, your edges, you can, but make sure that you wet it, like dampen it, because if you're putting it on just dry, because if you're, are you using any type of edge control? Is that what you're speaking of, Michelle? Or are you saying, because you want some type of moisture? Because if you're just wanting some type of moisture, yes, you can put something on your your dry hair. Like I put a little bit of a light oil, a penetrating oil on my hair every day. But if when I deal with this, like my edges, I, my sides out, just spritz a little bit of water. So just make sure that you're doing that. Yeah, make sure that you're doing that. Even if you do want the slick, lay edges, no more edge control. <laughs> yes, I would just wet it with something. And um, sometimes they have like curl creams. It's much lighter than those edge controls because the edge controls are so heavy and gooky. And some can be greasy and some can be... Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. I use your leave-in conditioner and all that's good for that. Yes, ma'am. Just a little bit. Just a little bit to massage in. And for you, not often, I would say once... Once or twice a week, Mrs. Williams. But yeah, so what you can put on your edges, because I don't put nothing on mine, so if you want to wet it and brush it, um, you can put something, but like I said, avoid the heavy, heavy, heavy. Do more of like a moisturizer or a, let me see. I like pomades more than I like edge controls, and there is a difference. I like a pomade by Giovanni. Giovanni has a pomade and it's in Sprouts or Whole Foods as well. So if you want to do something on your edges, use pomades more than edge control. Cause pomades are more, uh, they're more made of natural ingredients. They don't have as much alcohol or anything like that. So that dries out the hair. And so that's what I would lean more toward. It has more of a, more of a base of wax um, that would lay it down. You can still wet it a little bit more so than, like I said, the edge controls with all the alcohol that's drying out everything. So that's what you can use. That dog is crazy. Yes, baby. No, I talked about her last week, but you didn't bring me a product, a Cadence Taylor Beauty product. Give me the, give me the gel. Curls just want to have gel. You give it a try? Okay, good. You're welcome, Michelle. I hope that works for you. Because I know it pop, that edge control dries your, your edges out. Especially if they're coated because they can't receive any type of, um, any moisture or anything from anything because it's so coated and laying down. But I'm glad you were on here so I can share that information with you. Cadence went to grab a Cadence Taylor organic beauty product because I like to spotlight a product every time I come on here just to tell you about the products and what they do to give more information and knowledge about it. The one I'm going to highlight, I hope she brings the one I asked for, but it's the Curls Just Want to Have Fun hair gel. Curls Just Want to Have Fun, the title comes from Girls Just Want to Have Fun is one of my favorite be free, throw your hands in the air, dance like nobody is watching songs from the 80s by Cindy Lauper. And so I think that curls should have fun. And that's what I used on my hair. Um, ooh, when did I do it? 
I'll be honest and say I've been in a bonnet a long, long time this week. But I like it. Oh, you got me this one. So it's no longer in a pump. She bought me the one that I've already been um, using. But it's no longer in a pump. It's in a jar. But this is Curls Just Want to Have Fun. I love this gel. It has only a few ingredients. It's water, distilled water, pH balanced distilled water, aloe vera gel, glycerin, vegetable derived witch hazel, xanthan gum, and preservative. That's it. So it's just a few ingredients, but it does the job. It doesn't have any scent at all. It doesn't smell like anything. Uh, that's what it looks like. It's not sticky. It's not flaky. I mean, I absolutely love this gel. I'm a gel girl, and it's never hard. It's soft. I don't know if you can see how soft my hair is just by how I touch it. But um, it's very soft. It's not drying. In the past, when I've used gels on my curls, I would have to switch to a two-strand twist in between just to get some moisture back into my hair the way I would like it because the gels would like dry out my hair because most gels have a lot of alcohol. So as you can see from the ingredients I just read to you, there's no alcohol, nothing that's drying out the hair, everything. It feels like a conditioner. So it's very conditioning um, and it defines curls. It also smooths down like my daughter uses this for her edges. No alcohol or anything to dry it out. I mean, aloe vera, witch hazel, distilled water that's pretty much it it's a gel so this is what i love 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 i said when i came out with the line i had to have a gel because that's what i would prefer to wear so if you've never tried our gel it's organic it's vegan ingredients and it's for curly and coily types of hair for fine to medium and it's a soft to medium hold so we have samples available of course like a an ounce is a sample size so if you want to try it definitely go to the website and try it cadencetaylor.com so that's what i want to highlight today and i'm just so happy can you put the name in the post yes honey so to give you all a little education all of my product titles are song titles because we are a family that loves music and I wanted it to encompass everything. Curls just want to have fun. I wanted it to encompass everything about us and what we love. Curls just want to. So, curls just want to have fun. Come from girls just want to have fun. It feels good. Comes from it feels good. Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, right. It's just curls just want to have fun. Thank you so much, Michelle. They're, they're pretty fun. I can't wait to really have fun with them. Like, I'm going to do music videos and everything. But, you know, when times are better, because that was the, the goal when I did all this. I'm like, I'm going to recreate the music videos and let it be a lot of women. Anything for braids? Braids like, what do you mean? Um, putting on putting a product on your hair for braids that make the braids like stay a little longer because I don't have anything for that I know this works good for the edges and I just know the raindrops a lot of people like to use it on their scalp while they have braids um, it helps the hair grow and it keeps it from getting a lot of buildup not less braids oh yeah I don't have anything to like lay down the hair for the braids mm -mm, I don't and I have gel on my hands. Cadence, can you hear me that right there? So, yes. My, uh, that hand thing right there. Oh, for your scalp. The raindrops. The raindrops are really good. It's so funny because, give me that one right there. When I came out with raindrops, it was really good. I knew it was good for skin, for nails, and it was really good for hair growth. But then I had customers that would buy it and, of course, put it on their hair while they had protective styles. Now, of course, the hair did grow. But something they began to teach me things about what the product did because I don't wear braids ever. I don't do protective styles on myself. And they said that when it when it was time to take the braids out, the detangling process was so much easier. 
they didn't have that buildup of fuzz or hair or, or dirt around the base of the braid. It was clean. They just were like in awe of how simple the process was after when it was time to take the braids out. So I do recommend raindrops for your scalp while you have braids so your hair can continue to grow and your scalp can be moisturized and detox. Yes, thank you, Tanya. Hey, girl. Yay. Any more questions, y'all, that I can help y'all with? Miss, Miss Tanya been a loyal customer ever since. Oh, wait, I know Mrs. Williams said something. Let me go back up. When are you going back into the salon? I'm natural now. I can use it. I am natural now. Can I use it? Yes, you can use everything that I'm talking about. So all your straight hair is gone, Mrs. Williams? Look at you. Being all curly. I know that was our goal. Uh, I do not know when I'm going back into the salon. I have no clue. I don't know. Whenever I feel like it's safe, whenever the Lord tells me to go ahead and go back into the salon. But right now I'm taking the time to build up some other uh, things that he has me to do. I know, I miss you too. Thank you, Michelle, in advance. Let me know if you have any questions with everything. But yes, I miss you too. I miss going to church. I do. And I miss being in the salon. But trust me, I'm working God has given me a whole lot right now. You wearing one braid? <laughs> oh my goodness. And are you doing the braid, Mrs. Williams? Because I know you and your hair. She said one braid. But I'm sure it's curly. I can't wait to see it because I know you are ready to just have curly, curly hair. So I'm happy to see that it's all curly now. I look like my mama so much, y'all. I keep looking at this thing like ordering more supplies. Your supplies are low, I know. I know, because you were supposed to. It looks terrible. <laughs> I'm sure it's not as bad as you think, Mrs. Williams, and I can only hear what your husband is saying. <laughs> I can only hear what he has to say. Know him and his jokes. Mm-mm-mm. But yes, if you all have any more questions, I am definitely here. I'm still working behind the scenes on getting some things together for some stylists. Thank you so much, honey. You call it a COVID style. <laughs> I think we all have some COVID styles. I think that's how I ended up like this. Because I was like, hmm, I think I want to cut my hair. Which I had been talking about cutting my hair. But I think we all have some COVID styles. Mm -mm -mm. But thank you, Tonya. I actually cut it again. I trimmed it. I trimmed it the last time I shampooed it. Because I'm trying to get this middle part to get real big like the rest of my hair. Like it used to be. And I'm going to keep these sides low. But we'll see what that's going to look like. But, um, yes. And then I'm working on some coaching on another level. another On inner beauty. More coaching on that level. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. Thank you so much. So I'm really excited about that. That's like really ministry driven. So God has really been speaking to me while all of this has been going on. A lot of solitude and silence and has been in this house. He's really been pouring into me what I'm really, really, really supposed to be doing, which I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But, you know, he has new things for you and you have to listen. Mm-hmm. Yep. But yeah, so I'm I'm really thankful and grateful to be used by God and this next things and I'm ready. You ready, coach? You ready? Girl, God was like, you know, for the longest I've always preached, tell your story, it changes lives, but I didn't know I would be the one helping people tell their story and find the beauty in their story and the healing in their story. Oh man. I was like, really, God, that's what you want me to do? That's why I've been going through everything I've been through so that I can really help somebody else. So it's a beautiful thing. It's all coming together, and I'm just, I, I'm speechless about it all. But I'm ready because God built me for what he has for me to do, 
and through his strength, I'm going to do whatever he tells me to do because I belong to him. So as much as I've been focusing my whole entire career on women and their outer beauty, the inner beauty is what really, really, really lasts and what really is true beauty, you know, because the outer beauty, it fades. And of course, we all want to look good and feel good, starting with our outer appearance, but that's temporary. It's temporary. You know, we like, oh, yeah, my hair cute, and then tomorrow, if it ain't cute, you're like, oh, it ain't cute. But that inner work, that inner beauty is what the work I've done. Yes, I've done over the years to be the person that I am now. And now that I am who I am, God is using me and my story to be able to connect with other women because my coaching is specifically for women, uh, women who felt unloved and rejected through family and stuff like that, really heal, find their inner beauty and their purpose so they can learn to love themselves. They can have freedom and they can have healthy relationships because I've done the work to be able to do that. So it's time for me to help some other women do that. And I've been doing it and didn't realize I was doing it. <laughs> So, thank you so much, Michelle. So, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm preparing. I'm being patient. Um, and it's just been beautiful, man. It's been so beautiful. So beautiful. So, I love y'all so much. Y'all know that. And thank you for supporting me. Yes, as I support other women. Like, we are, we are a sisterhood, truly. We really are a sisterhood. And we have to stick together and help each other be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. Um, and it starts with being transparent and open about, you know, who are you really? Or, you know, I don't really love myself. Or I don't, you know, the things that you don't want people to know about you. That's where it starts. And I ain't scared. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to tell my story in places that I've been and things and thoughts that I've felt and things that I've overcome. I'm not afraid because it's all for God's glory. So, I could preach about that all day. So, I ain't going to keep y'all too much longer. I hope that you all are safe. And I know, Michelle, you were in Beaumont or Winnie. And I was like, oh, my gosh, please get her home. She in a hotel with no power or no water in a hotel. So, I'm so glad that you're back home. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. So, I'm glad you're back home and you're safe. Yay. And, um, Yeah. So if you just joining in and you, you didn't watch about the edges, just watch about the edges. <laughs> and I'm going to get off of here and go cuddle with my babies. Chris is out of town. He'll be home in the morning. So we're excited to see him. He's been stuck out of town. So we're excited to welcome him back. But yes, Boma, we're back. Yes, girl, I was thinking about you and praying for you. As everybody was checking in, I know Tanya was missing Florida. <laughs> I was reading everybody's post like, Lord, just help. Just help. Give us what we need. I know you were struggling, Tanya, because you're not used to this. Yes, thank you so much for praying for his safe return. Because he said he was homesick. I said, I know you are. But we miss him so much. That's my chef. <laughs> That's my chef. I had to go to the store, and uh, I got some canned soup. And what my body was like, you don't eat canned soup like your husband cook everything fresh for you when is the last time your body even had canned soup and i'm not trying to be bougie at all because i i thought i could eat the canned soup i've eaten canned soup before but i didn't realize it's been so long since i've had canned soup or any canned anything so because everything was going on and the power was out that was the only thing i felt like i could cook on the stove Yes. So my body was like, mm -mm, that is not what's happening. So I'm definitely ready for, for him to come back home. Not just so he can cook for me, but because we miss him. But all right, y'all, I'm going to get up and, uh, from here. And I thank y'all so much for watching my hair talk. And if you learn something, share it. And if you have any questions, make sure you send me a DM. You know, I'm always here to help. Love y'all.